section for a conic section or doing anything for conic sections. And again, we're going to be doing this parabolas, but what I teach today, we're going to do the exact same first step. It is the most important step for you guys to do. And that step is to plot the information that you are given. We're not graphing it, but I, you need to plot it so you can understand which formula you are going to be using. So we have a vertex at 0, 0. Vertex. y equals 4. What does that produce? Well, if here's my y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's going to produce a horizontal line at y equals 4. Does everybody follow me? So now, we know that we have our vertex. We know we have a directrix. Does our, para does our parabola open up towards its directrix? No. So we know the graph is going to be four, is going to be opening down, right? It doesn't open to the right, doesn't open to the left, right? So therefore, we now know which variable should be squared. X should be squared, and we also should know what should be um, our value of P, which is going to be the distance from our vertex to our focus, is going to be negative, though, right? So it's going to be negative. We want to make sure, because we're going down, yes. Because you can see, the parabola doesn't open up towards the directrix. It opens away from the directrix. Oh, you're right. right? I mean, you can see, here's the directrix, here's the parabola, right? So the formula that I'm going to use to write my equation is going to be x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Now again, we know that the distance from the vertex to the directrix is p, which is equal to four in this case. However, the real value of p is actually the distance from the vertex to the focus, which is still going to be the same value of four, but it's going to be in the negative direction. So we could say that's our focus. And all they're asking for is write the equation, right? So um, I know my h and k, my vertex is at 0, 0. Once you guys get good at this, you don't need to write in 0, 0. But just for right now, I'm just going to do that. So does everybody see what I inputted in? I inputted 0 for h and k. And then I inputted negative 4 in for my value p. Because value p is the distance from your vertex to your focus. Okay, Always use that value for your p. Even though the absolute distance is 4, but since we're going down, so it's going to be negative for that. Does that make sense? So then my final equation would be x squared equals negative 16y. Done. OK. Questions?